All right, now the bars. Now I'm going to start the ball rolling using 230. I'm not pressing hard with this, I just want it to be an even application and 230 will give me that. Okay, now the only thing that I've got to think about here is I'm covering up all the lines. So I'm not going to be able to see how, where my original drawing was. Okay, so what I'm going to do is as I go through, I'm going to make some more, add some more colours, make it a little bit more. I'm actually at the moment, I'm just making sure I've got that um, right. Okay, okay now, um, the colour that I'm going to decide to use, I think it will be, I've got to be careful here, it's a very dark green, so I'm going to use a dark green, and one I'm using is 165. So let's start with this. Now it's not going to be quite the same as the reference picture, but that doesn't matter. It's going to be very dark. I'm going to make this very, very dark. So it's going to have a lot of colour in it. But the whole object of this exercise is to do that. See? And then I can then bring the two, three O down there. Now I'm going to take quite a long time to do this. It's going to take me a while, as you can imagine. But what I'll also do is just to see see how this is going to work out. I'm just going to stop the ball rolling here. Now we're going to put some, as I said, we're going to put some very dark colours. But there's a lot of light on here as well. So let's just let's just start the ball rolling here. I've also got to think that the background is going to show through. And we can add that colour on as well. Let me just do this little bit. And then I can progress. You you get the idea anyway, don't you see how it's going? Let's make sure that you take the dust off because it's very easy when you, you're doing something like this to lose your the plot so to speak. Right now I'm gonna I'm gonna use a very dark colour now and I'm gonna use a very light colour. The light colour is going to be white and I'm gonna do this as I go along. Got the idea of that, that's, that's the shine. And the dark colour is the black, obviously. Now, I'm going to have to sharpen this up too. But I'm just going to show you, first of all, how I plan to work this out. Sometimes I'm going to allow the green to show through, and other times I'm going to make it really strong down there. That's that's probably okay. Happy with that. Now it just swings around here. Like that. Got any idea, though? No? This is when we can start bringing back colour. Um, I think I'm going to use the 233 here instead of the one I used before, the printer colour grey, because you'll, you'll be looking through this glass and it will be slightly darker. Got any idea? Let's put that. Let's do that one as well. And 
Not only would it be darker, but we'll have some light reflection there too in it, like that. That's quite strong. It won't be anything like that, so let me just close up on that. I've made that a little bit too big. Probably an idea to make that. Let's put a little bit of white in there as well. Like that. Let me just do finish this off. That's good. Now it doesn't go around there. You won't be able to see anything there. But I think you've got the idea of that. That's looking good. I'm just wondering whether I can do something a bit special there. Um, what I'd, I'd like to do is put a little little blue in there if I could. I don't know whether that's going to work. I tell you what, I'll sharpen that up. I might I might might be able to do that. It's just a little bit of blue in there as well, and I might have to use the blue. Anything the trouble is you. So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I think that's it. So I've got to do some sharpening. You got the idea, though. We're using one six five. I've got another one six five. But anyway, that that will do. I'll show you that uh, and how I go about it. I'm really just using. These colours, these are the ones I've got, but I need to sharpen them up and then we'll work our way through. And when we get to the stems, we'll be using, I, I think I'll probably use, as I said, 167 for them. It may be possible, in fact, thinking about it, to put 167 in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. great but it's going to look great when it's done it really is worth all the trouble that I'm taking on this and I love that um, I love that wood I got and what I've done there incidentally I never showed you this I did go back over it and I, I with the um, uh, what is it oh yes 237 this is the one I use for this and I put some of this in let's do a little bit more for you and I might put more in too as time goes on. And it just gives me, well, it's first of all, it follows the colour tone that we're using. And it looks really attractive on there. Anyway, let me let me carry on. I've got a work to do, I've got to sharpen those, and then you can watch me as I go through this. I'll probably come back and talk to you again when we come to do the stems. But that's all going to be done at the same time. So when I get to that, I'll just explain to you what I'm doing.
Well, folks, I think um, that's nearly there. You don't want to ever do anything like this. Once you arrive at something that looks plausible, then you leave it alone. Um, still some finishing touches to do, but I'm pretty pleased with the way that's turned out. Nothing like a reference picture. I've literally done my own thing here. And it, but it's good fun. That's the important thing. Now, we've also got to think about the bottom of the jar, because that is also quite important now. So we are, let's see what I mean. This is some parts of the, I'd say the jar, the vase. It's hard to make it. Probably put some, I've got to put some light in here as well, sooner or later, and I don't want to do it too soon. I love the colours, I think they are fantastic. Could be doing with a little bit more depth in here. That's it. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is come across. We've got to put some... Uh, I've, I've used white there, but really, now I've got to use the 230. And this is what I was talking about coming round. I think we might have to do the bottom of the jar. Maybe just a spot of white. Right, now I think I'm pretty happy. Now, the thing about it, these, I put these in first of all because it was important to have the white really strong. Now we can just fade it away a little. I think I'm going to leave that alone. It's super, isn't it? Down here now, what are we going to do down there? Well, we've got to put some kind of reflection in there. Um, I mean, it's, it's not the table that would reflect particularly, but we've got some shadow to put in. So I think I'll, I'll first of all, I'll reach for my 175, because this is the kind of we use here. We'll use 175 here. Use a little bit of black as well, 